Hello, and welcome back to Midlife Strive. All right, so today I want to pose a question to you guys, and that question is, what is the one thing that you cannot afford to lose? And a uh, very common answer I get, I've been uh, asking a lot of friends and family this question lately, is, uh, well, your health. You can't afford to lose your health. Well, yes and no. That's true, but not necessarily, because you can get overweight, you can get out of shape, and then get back into shape. You know, you can go on a diet, things can work out for you, and, and you can get back in shape. There have been people who've had cancer and strokes and heart attacks and all that, or they've been chain smokers, and they've quit, they've got in shape, and everything's gone back. So you can gain that back. Other thing is uh, friends, family, and all that kind of stuff. Not necessarily true either, because you can have a falling out with a family member or friend, and then given enough time, things mend, and you end up friendship and uh, communication with your family again. Uh, the one thing that you cannot afford to lose is time, okay? Every second, every minute, every day that goes by that you waste is gone forever, and you will never get it back, and it's impossible to get it back, okay? That's why the saying goes, father time is undefeated. So you can say, okay, well, I've always wanted to, you know, start jujitsu, or maybe you're already going and you wanted to... Um, start going more days a week or start doing private lessons or whatever. Maybe it doesn't apply to jujitsu at all. Maybe there's, uh, this applies to life in general. You want to start that business. You want to write that book. You want to, whatever your goal is, and I've done a goal video before, whatever your goal happens to be, there's so many people, a very common thing they do is to say, yeah, I'm going to end up doing this. I'm going to end up doing that. I got to start saving more money. And time goes by and they don't do anything about it. And it just floors me because given enough time, what ends up happening, these people, they blink 25 years have passed. And, you know, if you're in your mid to late 40s, all of a sudden you're 70, 75 years old and you're like, oh, my God, I have not accomplished what I want. And you've wasted that time and you cannot get it back. A very common place you see this is uh, with people in their retirement accounts um, from day one. I've been putting tons of money into my retirement account and investing in a whole bunch of different ways. And I see this a lot with people who are my age or in their mid 40s, late 40s, 50s, and they have been putting a very minimal amount or nothing at all. And they are now, you know, oh yeah, I got to start saving that. And all of a sudden it dawns on them. They're like, 52, 55, and they're like, wow, I have 10 years. I got to start putting a whole month. I'm not going to be able to live, which is why we end up with so many people who are working into their 60s and 70s because they didn't prepare. Okay. They didn't get enough money put in there. Uh, maybe they chose, hey, yeah, you know, I want to invest in this or I want to invest in that. Me personally, I've never in my life been more busy than I am right now. Okay. I work a full time job. I own a business with my wife. I'm opening a second business right now that has stretched me to the max. I'm involved heavily in cryptocurrencies, which is also having to be uh, checking the markets and studying uh, all the different variables that are going on there, reading blogs, reading posts. Uh, in addition to that, I do a YouTube video and I'm getting out. Why? Because I'm trying to maximize every second that I'm alive. Every single second that I'm alive and things are going well, I'm investing, I'm planning, I'm getting everything ready. And the message here is you can do the same. Whenever you're there and you get home from work and you're tempted to just grab the remote and sit there and watch TV and do nothing, tell yourself, let this haunt you. And I hope it does haunt you, not for a bad reason, but for a good reason. Let this sink into your brain. You are wasting every second, every minute of your life that you could be doing something to make your life better. And when you sit there and you say to yourself, what have I done to make my life better? And you say, well, I've watched TV. I want you to mull that over tonight. I sat there watching TV. Why? Because I felt like I earned it. And I ask you this, what did you get out of it? Nothing. How has it made your life better? How has it made other people around you better? You guys got to take advantage of the time that you have. That's the one commodity in this world that you cannot replace. You can't get it back. When it's gone, it's gone. And I've pushed myself to the absolute limit. And I still, at this point, am considering squeezing more things into my life. And people say, well, doesn't that stress you out? Doesn't that make you unhealthy? No. It gives me peace of mind. Because the worst thing I can do in my life is status quo. And just go through and not do anything and just ho-hum, get my check, come home, go to bed. If that's the life you guys want to live, that's totally fine. The purpose of this video is to let you know because I see this a lot with my friends and family. They talk and talk and talk that they have this dream that they want to do and they don't take action. 
they don't do it. Or they say, I'm going to do this later. I'm going to start losing weight next year when the, uh, when my new year's resolution, I'm going to open that business. Uh, once I settle down and I catch up on my, and it's always in the future, always in the future. Well, guess what? All those future days come and go, come and go. And you've wasted them and wasted them and wasted them. And you guys are going to blink and you're going to be 60 and you're going to be 70. And for you guys that are out there that are 20 and 30 and don't plan on your retirement and don't plan on what you're going to do in your future, don't waste time. This is an anti-procrastination video. Time, you can never, ever get it back. And you have to take advantage of every second you got. At the end of the day, you got to have a checklist where you finished and you go, what have I done to make my life better? What have I done? Did I call my wife? Did I hug my kids? Did I plan my retirement better? Did I invest in my, in my business that I want to start? Did I start brainstorming my book? Did I do all that? And if your answer is no, then your future is not going to be very fun. I can tell you that because like I mentioned in a previous video, in a goal video, I've spoken to oncologists and doctors who have said this to me. The one thing that people who are on their deathbeds always say unanimously across the board is what they regret is not what they did. It's what they didn't do. Always, she says, that is the most common thing that happens when people are facing death. It's not what they did. It's what they didn't do. Why didn't I fall back in love with that girl? Why didn't I chase her down? Why didn't I have another child? Why didn't I open that business? Why didn't I write that book? Why didn't I take up pottery? Whatever the heck it is you want to do, jujitsu. Why didn't I compete when I was in jujitsu? Why didn't I do whatever it is you wanted to accomplish? Okay, you guys got to put in the research, even if it's only making a phone call, even if it's only doing the smallest thing, as long as you take a step forward. It doesn't have to be a major step, but don't waste time. When you waste that time, it's gone forever. And a lot of the viewers here are in midlife and you'll feel it more. For you youngsters, I'm telling you, you're gonna blink and you're gonna be older. You're gonna blink and you're gonna be 40. And that time, you don't get it back. And wasting time comes in many ways. Like you could say, well, I didn't spend more time with my family. Oh, you know, I'm going to go see my mom next week. Oh, I'm going to go spend time with my uncle, you know, next month. And guess what? All of a sudden he can just not be here. And then that time is gone. Then you sit there going, damn, why didn't I go visit my mother more? Why didn't I call her more? Why didn't I spend time with my brother? Why didn't I go do whatever? It's just like uh, youth. Okay. It's still time. That's time that you spend with your family. The key word here is it's time that you wasted. Just like they say youth. Oh man, when I was younger, I should have done this. I should have done. You wasted youth. That's time. That was time that you were young and you wasted. Didn't, you know, whatever it was, you didn't play. You didn't, you know, hug your mom, whatever it is you want to talk about. Maybe you were a teenager and you, you could have been doing other things, playing sports, doing whatever. You wasted that time and you're never going to be that age again. So this is the one thing you guys cannot waste. Don't procrastinate. Take what you want to do. Think about it. Even if you're just thinking about what you want to do and writing it down and setting on a goal sheet, which I've talked about in the past, it's you got to take action. You can have every goal in the world and you can want to achieve all these great things. But if you don't take action and you don't get up and actually invest and actually research and actually look into things and pursue and do the things you want to accomplish. Like I said, I have a huge amount on my plate right now and I'm still open to do more things. If there's one possible way I can squeeze it in. I'm going to try to squeeze it in. I'm seriously considering trying to fit in in a tiny window of time to at least do yoga once or twice a week because I talked about it in the last video and I really miss doing it and I think I can fit it in. If you want to find somebody who wants to get involved in something and you're trying to pitch them something, look for the person who has the busiest schedule because they'll fit it in. A person with the least amount to do is almost always going to turn you down. Oh no, I don't want to go do that. Oh, I don't have time to go do that. The reality is they don't want to go do that. They'd rather be doing something else and that's fine, but that's not me. And if you guys fast forward a few years, you're going to want to be sitting in that place where you're regretting it too. So get up, find out what you're going to do and take action. It doesn't matter how busy your life is. Think about it. 
in a way that makes it satisfying to you. If you say, oh my God, this is a chore. Oh my God, this is the, you know, the end of the world. I'm so crazy. I'm so busy. I could easily say that right now. I keep saying, this is great. This is my future. This is what I want to be doing. I'm accomplishing my dreams. I'm doing everything I wanted to do. And my life is in a perfect place. If you word it that way and think of it that way, that's what you'll make it. If you word it in a way that's going to be, oh man, I'm tired. I don't have the energy to keep doing this. It's going to be a disaster. But take action and move forward. So if you guys have any comments on this, feel free to leave them below. I haven't made a kind of a motivational type video in a while, and this can be applied to jujitsu or it could be applied to life in general. Just get up and take action. I'd love to see you guys again. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys again soon.